hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you guys how i apply my foundation the first thing is to prep my skin and i do this by using the um, rose water facial spray to prime my face if i'm not doing anything heavy or complicated i tend to just stick with um, facial sprays as primers and then i moisturize So up next is the base and um, this is just me applying my foundation and laying it down really well because I do not have so much of a problem skin I tend not to use concealer to cover any blemish because I find that my foundation can cover any blemish I have really well so I'm just going to make sure I buff in the foundation blend using a good brush also helps in concealing your blemishes without using a concealer And then I'm just trying to get more coverage on particular areas because those are the areas I have blemishes and I'm just trying to stipple and blend at the same time. And the next thing I do is mattify and I use a tissue to blot out the oil. And then next I use um, a matte primer to mattify the oily um, areas of my face which is the top of my brow it's the most um, oily part of my face um, and then I also mattify my nose and I tend to stay away from the cheek the chins if I'm not doing anything heavy start my highlighting and contouring process and um, I'm just going to use a really good concealer to kind of conceal very lightly my dark circles and I'll also use that to highlight I won't be using any corrector or anything like that So I am just going to highlight the rest of my face, that's um, my forehead, my nose, my chin, the top of my lips, um, and then um, the area just below my contour line. And I'm a, I'm a blend as you go type of girl. Um, I, I like to blend as I go as I'm putting the product as opposed to putting the product on all the areas first and blending everything together. It could get really messy for me and my face will end up looking very white so I tend to blend as I go And then I'm just going to buff everything in with a damp beauty blender. So I have a little light on my face at the moment and I'm just going to do that on my nose as well. It's just to make my nose appear slimmer.
So next thing I do is to contour my face and I love using cream products to contour. I think it just gives you a really nice dewy finish as opposed to you know just a very powdery finish. So I'm going to contour um, my, the hollow of my cheeks, um, the sides of my head, my jawline, the sides of my nose as well. Just going to blend everything together. And then I'm just going to set everything that I have done, starting with the highlight and um, setting that with a very yellow toned. And then I clean that brush and then just um, dip it into a contour powder and set the contour area over my face. And so I'm going to set all over my face with my regular powder. This tends to reduce the harshness of the highlight and even the contour. If the highlight is too bright, it tends to tone it down. If the contour is too dark or too sharp, it tends to um, tone everything down. So I'm applying that powder all over my face where I put the highlight before, where I put the contour before. I'm just going to set everywhere on my face. And then I'm just going to bring a little bit um, of dewiness to my face and I'm going to set using the same facial um, rose water spray and that's going to make everything settle down. I do not miss this step. I love it. And then if you really want to keep your makeup um, to stay as long as possible, this is a step I just learned and it really works. After setting your face, go back in with a little bit of powder use it to buff in your face and your makeup or your face makeup will stay a longer time trust me and then i'm just going to add a little bit of um, shimmer to my face i do not miss this step either i love Lighting, I love it. I couldn't get out of it. So I'm just going to apply that and really, really blend it into the skin so I don't look crazy. And I'm going to do the same for my nose. And I'm going to do the same, I think, for the top of my chin. Okay, yeah, I should have the top of my chin and then my, below my hollows. Just putting a little bit of color on my face as blush and a little lip color to finish the look and that's it guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to thumbs up and also subscribe um, and also follow me on social media i'll be leaving the details here uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye